Hey guys, make sure to check out G2A.com. A link is in the description below. They have really cheap PC games, Xbox Live codes, and a whole bunch more. Link in the description below. Yo guys, what's up? It's Xfuse. Welcome back to another Call of Duty World War II video. So, uh, we're going to be talking a little bit of info that we got today about Call of Duty World War II, but I also wanted to kind of do some personal talk with you guys a little bit here. Nothing crazy, but uh, I just wanted to talk to you guys because... And I, I've been doing a lot more commentaries lately and I've been enjoying that, but sometimes I like to kind of give you guys, you know, an inside look into what I'm feeling, what's going through my head. And I don't do these too often. Maybe I'll do them like maybe once every two to three months. So actually, I think the last time that I actually did a video like this was back when uh, Infinite Warfare had just come out and I made a video. I think it was titled like I'm fearful of the future or something like that. So I wanted to do an update on that because this is kind of literally an update on that. But uh, anyway, so let's go ahead and talk about the COD World War II stuff first. Get that out of the way. So hopefully you guys are still excited for Call of Duty World War II. We do have the beta coming this month. We're actually 25 days away. August 25th is when the beta starts here for Call of Duty World War II. And I'm actually really excited for that because I know that there was not a lot of people who were able to play Call of Duty World War II at E3. Obviously a very large amount of people couldn't play it. So uh, for you guys that, you know, we're hearing everyone talking about it from YouTubers to people who were able to play at the actual event, you probably haven't had the opportunity or maybe you don't believe them that it's such a good game because you haven't played it yourself. And finally, in 25 days, all of you guys will be able to actually play this game and actually be able to not only play it, but form your own opinions and give me and also Sledgehammer Games a, a lot of feedback as to what you guys like, don't like and stuff like that. So for me... Pretty cool. I'm really excited for that. I'm going to be streaming. I'm going to be doing so much with that. And uh, and that's pretty big. So the actual beta, again, it starts on the 25th. 25 days away. I'm so freaking excited. Uh, let me know how you guys feel about that. But apart from that, they did mention that the PPSH is actually going to be playable in the beta, which is really, really cool. Which, again, I guess this does kind of pass over or also confirm that this is going to be in zombies as well. You have to assume it's going to be in zombies as well. And on top of that, today, it was also confirmed that there is going to be an emblem editor coming to Call of Duty World War II. It will not be in the beta but it will be in the game on November 3rd. So hopefully they're able to lock that down and not have a situation similar with what happened with IW. But again, I digress. I don't want to talk about IW at the moment. Well, I, I guess I am going to talk about it because this is kind of a follow-up. So that was a little bit of the COD World War II news. Now let's go ahead and talk a little bit here very, very quickly and try to prevent rambling about uh, what I've been feeling, my thoughts and stuff lately. So, you know, Call of Duty World War II is like a super hyped game everyone's excited the beta is coming out i think a ton of people are going to be playing the trailer got a ton of support the zombies is getting a ton of support they have like literally been checking everything off and just absolutely killing it uh, but iw this year wasn't exactly the same way it was another futuristic game that a lot of people didn't want and i felt really bad because infinity ward worked hard on this game but on top of that they were the ones who were like the year that everyone would look forward to. I remember everyone being excited for Modern Warfare 2, for Modern Warfare 3. Uh, Ghost was a little bit of a disappointment, but everyone was excited for a regular Infinity War to Call of Duty game. And this kind of was, I don't want to say it was like a stain on their bio, but it was definitely a game that wasn't as well received. I still enjoy the game. I think uh, there's a lot of people who really do still enjoy the game. It's not a broken game. It's not a bad game, but it was a game that a lot of people didn't exactly enjoy because they weren't really into the futuristic setting. So it kind of did affect this whole year uh, the way that youtube worked and you know a lot of youtubers ended up going back to black ops 3 posting a ton of content on that they were covering the new weapons they were doing supply drop openings they grinded their asses off I'm like those guys were busting their ass over there but i didn't want to do that i didn't really want to be the guy who abandoned iw or abandoned the current cod and you know there's people who still play this game and i wanted to make sure i was covering it enough to the point where you know the people who do enjoy this game are you know being informed if there's any stuff that's coming in the future if weapons come out or anything like that i wanted to you know be one of the few that still cared about the current call of duty and so i didn't really focus on black ops 3 like some of these other youtubers did and found incredible success for them but because i did that i hurt my own chances of growing I actually lost subs this year as opposed to actually gaining subs and again i'm not blaming anyone i'm blaming myself maybe for wanting to post iw but uh, besides the point because of that because there wasn't that hype uh the views weren't there people were clicking off videos of iw like the other day i was actually streaming iw for the new weapons and uh, like people were complaining that it was iw and telling me to stop streaming stream black ops 3 i thought it was actually pretty funny but uh, i could definitely see that the hype and the interest in the game was way down like the levels was way down 
So uh, I totally understand why this year has been difficult. But today I woke up this morning and I, I got some bad news in terms of like the YouTube earnings and stuff like that. It it's bad because today I realized that I actually need to start picking up more days at work. And I'm not sad, obviously. Why would I be sad that I, I can earn more money? But at the moment, it's not guaranteed that I will get more days. I opened up my availability, so I'll be able to work more days. But it's not guaranteed that I will get more days at work because I actually ended up realizing today uh, because of some business emails and stuff like that, that I actually have to pick up these days or I won't have enough money to pay off my bills and, and buy food and stuff like that. So kind of scary, kind of worrisome, but I think I'm going to be okay. But it's still one of those I was a little bit bummed out because I've had the freedom to do YouTube somewhat full time. I worked two to three days a week and that's I was totally good. Like I was making enough money off my sponsorships and off of YouTube that I was, you know, able to kind of skip out on a day or two a week because of it. And uh, I'm making like literally no money off YouTube. I'm <laughs> I was making very little money off YouTube. And so now that that kind of has been cut off, it kind of is like one of those things where it's like, oh, well, okay, I got to pick up more days at work now. And I'm kind of bummed out because now it means that I'm going to have less time to work on videos. It means that I'm not going to have the freedom that I had before where, you know, if I do get invited to an event, uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to go because I I'm going to have to be asking for days off. And if I don't get notified fast enough, then I won't be able to ask for the day off. And it starts off this whole big problem of just not having the freedom to do what I want to do. And it kind of sucks, but I I'm excited because I'm going to have more, more money. And I guess I can invest more money on the channel. I don't know. I it's, it's like one of those where you got to see it as a half glass full instead of a half empty type thing. So it sucks. And I was definitely a little bit sad today and I was a little bit depressed and I was really thinking about it the whole day. Like, you know, wow, this is pretty scary uh, that it can just, you know, one day boom and like your your whole you know career is kind of changed and you got to change your mindset and you got to adapt and you got to move while it does suck that the interest wasn't there i think that call of duty world war 2 is going to be a game that kind of resets everything for everyone and i really do hope and i wish the best for everyone who does post call of duty world war 2 and up leading to the game because i feel like this is a game that's going to help a lot of people who have been kind of dragging their feet a little bit i'm included in that like kind of list there's a lot of people who covered black ops 3 stayed hot and did their stuff uh, and I kind of wish I had done that a little more, but you know, that's the past. We got to move forward. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. Wanted to give you guys some info and also kind of let you guys know what I was feeling and what I was going through. So thank you so much for watching the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did, drop a like, drop a favor on the video. It does about, it is appreciated. And if you are brand new to the channel, if you want to see more content like this in the future, obviously make sure you subscribe and you turn on notifications by hitting the little bell icon next to the subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time. Follow me on Twitter. Check out my gaming channel. I'm out. Peace.